If your house is anything like mine, there is always an unending supply of boxes. And while the big ones can be great to line a garden beds, sometimes the small ones are just too difficult to fool with. So now I put them in the shredder and then I put them in the worm bin. Some boxes are right for the job and some aren't. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and welcome back to my meadow. I'm gardening in zone 9A in Northeast Florida. I'm not an expert gardener, but I love showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly and embracing the imperfection that learning to garden has to offer. Boxes like this that have a paper tape are just fine. Boxes with a plastic tape can be used, but you've got to take off the plastic tape. Boxes that have a shiny print, things that are photorealistic. Can you see that shine reflecting back there? These are not boxes you'd want to use in the garden, so they are not boxes that I will give to the worms. For the boxes that make the cut, pun intended, I remove the plastic tape, and if there are labels that won't come off, I just take off a small section of the cardboard. This can go right in the recycle bin. Then I cut the cardboard down into the width that will fit through my shredder. Sometimes getting the tape off is tough, so I will just peel that top layer of the cardboard so I still get most of the cardboard to use, and the tape just goes in the trash. And this makes it a win-win because boxes that would have otherwise gone back to recycling can decompose right here in my garden without taking up any other environmental impact. And they're a great carbon source for the worms in my vermicomposting bins. Once they're all sliced up, it's time to head to the shredder. My shredder is from Amazon. It's an Amazon Basics brand and it's a 24 sheet shredder and it makes shredding cardboard super easy. And I end up with these great shreds which are perfect out in the worm bin. And I'm even using them to sort of make a worm blanket on the top of my worm bin. Next time I add food, I'll just pull that back and dig it in. If you're new to the channel and want to know more about how I installed this sub pod, be sure to check out this video right here. And until next time, my friends, remember to drink plenty of water, wear that high quality sunscreen, and as always, have a fantastic day.